Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create this glass morphism effect step by step. I'm going to tell you every step of the way. So here we go. First step, go ahead, grab your rectangle tool on the left side, and then just draw out a rectangle, something like that. Make it look like a credit card, perhaps. Okay, good. It's white. Make sure it's fill is white. Take the stroke off. There's no stroke, only fill of white. Now, grab these inside little handles and just pull them in a bit. We want to round the corners. Okay, good. The next step, I'm going to grab the underlying layer, whether or not it's a color or if it's a photo, whatever it is that you've got as the background, drag and drop it and click on that little rectangle with the plus in it, create a duplicate copy. Move this duplicate now to the top of your layer stack like I've done here. Hold down the Alt key or the Option key and hover between these two lines. This creates a clipping mask. So we've clipped this top image or the duplicate image to the middle rectangle. Now, making sure you're selected on the top image or whatever it is you're working on, go to Filter, go to Blur, select Gaussian Blur, and then filter it somewhere around, let's go with like 10 pixels, okay? Perfect. Now you're going to see what we're working with. We've got this sort of, uh, yeah, we've got a look there. It's, it's, it's coming along, but we've got to make a few more changes. Okay, the next step, go now back down to the rectangle. Click on the FX button, which allows us to do layer styling. We're going to just do a few things. The first one is Stroke. I'm going to add a six pixel stroke on the outside like I've done here. The next step, I'm going to add a inner glow. So I've got an inner glow set to screen, opacity 30%. And you'll notice here that I've got it at 46 pixel size and a range of about 60%. Something like that looks pretty good. The next step, click on color overlay. And what I've done here is I've got a gray color, 949494, as you can see here. And I've set the opacity to 10% to give it a little bit of a colored look. And the last step, I'm going to click on Drop Shadow, and I'm just going to go ahead and reduce the opacity down to about 10%. And again, you'll see here it's straight up and down. The shadow is right underneath it. Gives it a little bit of depth. Click on OK, and presto, 